to my real man segment. We are in week seven of the NFL and I know it's been a fun ride so far. Now last week I gave everyone a couple good picks. Brandon Marshall did very well. Vernon Davis had a great game. Torrey Smith, however, played terrible. I had him in my lineup, so he wasn't only terrible for everyone out there, but he was terrible for me as well. But I got two out of three right, so that's not so bad. This week, I'm giving you guys more ballsy picks, and that's because, you know, if you have a Peyton Manning, you're going to play him. If you have an Adrian Peterson, you're going to play him. These are players that you know to play every week and never take out of your lineup. So this week, I want everyone to be able to go to the waiver wire, maybe get these players from the waiver wire. Uh, we're still on bye weeks, so hopefully these players will help you out. So my first real man for you guys is quarterback Eli Manning. Yes, I said Eli Manning. I know everyone thinks I'm crazy, but hear me out on this. He does have 15 interceptions so far. I know that's terrible. The Giants have been playing bad, but it's a bye week. Drew Brees is out. I know that. So he's going to be a quarterback that you can go get most likely on your waiver wire. Now the plus side of him is that he has thrown for 1,721 yards, nine touchdowns, and he's had five completions of 40 yards or more. Now the Giants play the Vikings this week and they play the Vikings at home. The Giants desperately need a win at this point. That will really help them. Playing at home is going to help them. The Vikings are 29th in the league against the pass. So they are really not stopping the pass from happening. Another good thing is that Brandon Jacobs got going against my Bears last week, which really sucked for us. But that's been a lot of why Eli's been throwing so many picks, is the Giants have virtually had no running game. So if Brandon Jacobs can even do a fraction of what he did last week for them, that's going to help Eli out a lot. And the Vikings have given up an average of 45 fantasy points to quarterbacks. Cam had 242 yards and three touchdowns against them last week. So again, this is a great game for Eli to get going and a very good matchup. My second real man for you guys is running back Giovanni Bernard. I love this rookie. I have loved him since training camp and I knew he was going to get some playing time and he is a great guy to get off your waiver wire if he's still out there. And if you have him, he's also a great guy to get in your flex position if you already have two starting running backs. The Bengals play Detroit this week, and Detroit has allowed 124.8 rushing yards per game so far. A great thing about Bernard is that he's also used in the passing game. He has 20 receptions for 201 yards and two touchdowns so far. Now, I like this rookie a lot because he is not fumbling the ball. He is holding on to the ball. He only has one fumble so far this season, and that's giving the Bengals a lot of trust in him. That is a great thing to have as a rookie, your team and coach trusting you already. And he's getting a lot more production than Green Ellis, which is going to mean a lot more playing time for him. I think he definitely is going to take over the starting job soon. He's going to have plenty of touches this week. And Dalton is struggling a little bit. He's having a hard time getting the ball down the field. He's throwing some interceptions. Giovanni is a great guy for him to dump the ball off to and get yards after the catch. So he's a great one to get in your lineup this week. And my third real man for you guys is tight end Antonio Gates. He might still be out there on some waiver wires. You never know. But even though he's old, he is having a good season. The Chargers are fifth in passing offense, and they're tied for fifth overall in offense. So even though their defense isn't getting it done, their offense definitely is. Now, Rivers loves going to Gates. He is his go-to guy. They've been playing together forever. He's a reliable target for Rivers to use. Also, they play Jacksonville. Jacksonville has given up the seventh most fantasy points to tight ends so far this season, and tight ends are actually averaging 16 fantasy points when playing them. So anytime your tight end is getting in double digits, that's a great thing for you. Julius Thomas had a touchdown against the Jaguars last week. 
And Colby Fleener had 77 yards and a touchdown against the Jags in week four. So again, that's showing some consistency that tight ends are getting in the end zone against Jacksonville. And so far, he is the fifth best fantasy tight end. He's playing a lot better than most people would think for his age. So go ahead, get him in your lineup if you have him. If you can steal him off the waiver wire and you have a tight end on a bye, then go ahead and do that. So those are my real men for everyone this week. And now Greg is going to give his beast mode picks.